On a scale of 1 to 10, we'll give her a 100 on style quotient. I'm with the eternally gorgeous Sushmita Sen, actress, poet and style icon and one of our favourites. Sushmita, welcome to Stylement. And thank you very much. Sushmita, you're looking gorgeous as always. Um, and you know, you do red mouth like very few other women can. Do you believe in the power of red mouth? Oh, absolutely. But this one is called Wild Ginger okay. uh, by Tom Ford. It, it is, the thing about our skin colour is that I think really fair and white women look lovely with red. But our kind of sun-kissed, um, vitish complexion looks beautiful with oranges, hues of it. So every time I want to feel bright, I either put on a blood red or I go with the wild ginger. So today it's actually the wild ginger. I definitely believe in the power of it, to answer your question, for the simple reason that a woman's mouth is, is as expressive as her eyes. And when you give it a color, you give it a temptation. And so for me, whenever I want to smile, and I like smiling, uh, Wild Ginger does it for me. We've always seen you, uh, you know, do elegant, like, you know, elegant should be done. Uh, how do you, you know, keep it so chic and elegant all the time? I mean, you know, everyone has a stylist, but you style, yeah. you know, most of your looks yourself. Yeah. How do I, you do it? Well, thank you, love. I'm glad you appreciate it because I sometimes get a lot of those Oh, fashion faux pas. Oh, she's wearing that again. Oh, my God. I just want everyone out there to know anything I wear is an extension of my personality. It's the way I'm feeling that day. It's who I am all the time. A mix of that. I have never had a stylist. Everything that I buy, I wear. When a designer dresses me, then it's for an occasion. Never for an everyday affair. So if you like it, great. If you don't, no problem. You like something else. But I'm going to quintessentially remain this way. For me, elegance is, is a prerequisite for a woman. Even if I were to wear leather pants and like knee-high boots, I would expect myself still to carry that with elegance. Uh, everyone who's been watching you for so many years now, we all know the romance that you have with black. And today, you know, you're wearing all black. Um, so tell us a bit about uh, you know, your love for the color. Well, thank you very much. Yes, it is true. It's been 18 years in the limelight, 19 to be precise, and black still remains my favorite color. I think the thing about black is it's a forever thing. It's a forever romance. It's classic, it's elegant, uh, it's powerful, and if you believe that this whole universe was born from a black hole, then the, well, the color was still black. <laughs> so from nothing to everything, um, black and white are the two colors that I believe are very eternal, ethereal and powerful. We can't take our eyes off the spunky animal printed clutch that you're wearing. That is also the other thing that you prefer, we've, yes. you've noticed. Yes. Um, yeah, so why didn't you talk about your second love which is animal prints? Yeah, it just kind of complements the animal in me. I, are you a tiger? Are you a zebra? Oh, are no, you no, a le leopard? No, no I, I may look like a giraffe, but I'm still <laughs> not a giraffe. Um, I, I think I'm a blend of a lion, a tiger, and a leopard, and basically the cat family, but bigger than the meows. Um, I have very strong animal instincts in me, and I, I nurture them. So whenever I see something, and, and just for the record, artificial, huh? it's just calf leather. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I like the print very much and I've always promoted it because I feel like I'm touching a part of myself which is uniquely expressing the animal instinct in me. Your look in Mehuna is something that I think everyone still talks about. We'll never forget those saris, we'll never forget those backless cholis. Um, is, is that your favorite film look? Well, it is actually my favorite film look uh, for many reasons. One is that that was one film where more than a stylist, even though I had Manish Malhotra who did an outstanding job of the sari and the blouses, my real stylist was my director, it was Farah Khan. Every single outfit was in keeping with the persona, with the film, with the character, but at the same time, she would say, go right back in, that's a lungi you're wearing, you're supposed to wear a sari, take it lower, pull this down, the blouse needs to have a bow at the back. So things like that, which a director can do, is visualize um, and style an actor, that's never happened in my career, except for with Farah Khan, and of course, the results were there for everyone to see. So yes, it is one of my favorite looks. 50 pins aside, it <laughs> remains my favorite attire when it comes to a movie. Uh, countless women take fashion advice from you, Sushmita, and for all the right reasons. But what has been the best fashion advice you received so far? 
Keep it simple, Sush. <laughs> Keep it simple. I mean, I innately am a very dramatic person. I like drama. I like capes. I like, if I had it my way, I would wear, hmm, gladiator boots all the time. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to keep it really simple. I just keep feeling like it, it's missing something. So I've had a very dear friend in the US tell me once, keep it simple, Sush, because there is so much of you that uh, let it come. Take off the jewelry, take off whatever, keep it really simple. Give me just black, let me see you. And I started doing that and recognized the fact that every time a woman keeps it simple, she allows more of herself to be seen. Uh, and women who are not sure of who they really are at times need to cover it up. And so I go up to everyone and say, look at her, keep it simple. <laughs> and finally, a fashion advice to all our fans. Keep it simple, love. One, keep it you, uniquely you. Let the world stand on one side and keep criticizing and judging. Well, you must be doing something right for them to be taking notice of it. But at the end of the day, if you're not happy, not comfortable, not feeling the best you can feel, then well, you've just wasted fashion, style, and more importantly, yourself in the process. So don't allow that. Smile a lot, enjoy yourself, look fabulous, and remember there is only one of you. Enjoy. We really hope you stay as gorgeous as you are. Thank you so much for being with us this evening. Thank you. Thank you.